Pine. He decided it's the Pine Show on Ilios. Some of the best McCree we've ever seen. He's staying in the lineup for this team on Ilios. And we're going to have a little best of three to decide who takes this one. A lot of this is going to be stage dependent. I think that perhaps London can definitely hang on Ruins because I think their Widow play is just as good as Pine's Widow play. I think uh, when you get to maybe Lighthouse, that's where Pine absolutely dominated the best 10 seconds of McCree I've ever seen in my life. Murder hole, man. Yeah, that's the, the uh, hole. that's the murder hole. But it does seem like right now, at the very least, we are probably going to be queuing up into Ruins. And I want to look at, of course, the DPS, Pine vs. Bird Ring is going to happen. Of course, the Tracer battles are going to happen. SBB, Sabiobi, is one of the best anti-Tracer Tracers in the game. Just completely shuts down what the other person wants to do. And also, I mean, the tanks are great. But you can go across the board here, and then you look at the Zenyatta matchups. This is why we're at five. These two teams are just both too good. Exactly. Exactly. They balance each other so well. But... Really, when it comes down to control, you really feel like this is Sabiobi's time to shine. Pine stole the spotlight last time, but Sabiobi, you can just count on him Five, to win those four, duels, to shut down those three, DPS for the opponents. Two, he is the reason one, why we're going one, to a map five as well. So no Zenyatta mirror here. Actually, London is going to be running Hagopin on the Diva. It's so important for him to get to this big pack early. They need to play around it. And not only play around the big pack, but it denies it for the other team. This pack right here. London is trying to posture up. New York is smart. They've snipped this out. They're going to try to do a lot of damage. But no, that pack is already hacked. Yep. Blade, good job. It's already hacked. London Spitfire, they were quick. They knew exactly what they were doing. They got in there fast, and now they have control. And that is going to limit things. Guess what? There's no pack there to keep you alive, Janice. You're going to have to back off. Pine, both exchanging the body shots. Couldn't cut it closer. And there we go. Birdring wins the duel. Pine is out of it. Birdring now reigns. He gets to call the shots and hit them too. Uh, no one's going to be able to escape on this one. They're still trying to get up over the top. They have to back up. Profit goes a little bit too deep. Gets himself a nice case of tonight is there as Mano's able to boop him. But he should be back into this mix. And they did such a good job of playing around the pack. Like I said, denying it is the big deal. But the rest of the team stayed over there and took chip damage that we've got EMP up already. Oh, buddy. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> That was a bit of a, a bit of a shock there. You know, you definitely don't want to have Jonak point blank in your face with the orbs. But look at this positioning here from Prophet. Surprise, surprise! You can't get comfortable over here. He's, kind of, he's probably waiting for them to try to come in through room so that he can get a giant false bomb in there. He's just going to choose to try to demac the diva. It says happy birthday to the ground instead. Yeah, unfortunately for him, it doesn't pan out. Hagapen, however, could go for the MP, but he gets canceled out. Great play there between Jonak and Mano. They obliterate him immediately. No EMP possible for London Spitfire in this fight, and that could be the difference maker. It looks like New York wants to try and press their advantage. And Pine, not a fun place to be when you've got a Tracer blazing away. New York has four kills, and Mano has two of them. He is absolutely a terror on this Lucio. He's not quite familiar with the role, but he's doing a great job on it. Gonna have Soundbury up for the next fight, too. They just used Transcend. Now it's about evicting them from the point. An EMP comes off, and that was an interesting timing on the EMP. You have to wonder if Hagopin is planning to switch here. Dude, that was unreal, because Mano had just got the sound barrier out as well, and so, sure, EMP, but they have so much HP. And it's looking like New York right now. The kills favor them, and they will be able to flip the point. 74% gained for London Spitfire. But now it's New York's time to play on the defensive side here. Yeah, I thought Hago might switch because I think he lost control of the main pack. And Janice has been hanging around there just spamming his primary fire so that he can decloak a Symmetra, not allow her to hack that pack for free. But Hago's going to stick with it. At 75%, they really only need to win one more fight, and that's exactly what EMP can do for you. Jesus, that's a lot of damage with the volleys, man. Jonak is monstrous. Jester. Pissed off. He's going after Jonak. He gets the kill in the end. Pine, however, is going to be the one from on high. Not quite finding the kill. And now he's getting batted around. The headshot, but not charged. And Hagopun survives. Little surprise that the Sabra is down there. Janus doing his best to bring his team back into this. Bird Ring gets Mono, who was looking for a health pack, finds death instead. London has taken control of this fight. Oh, the boop out of it closer. Quick reactions from him. Not going to take any fall damage there. And Prophet not gonna let Janice get out intact. It's London Spitfire fighting back here versus the New York Excel on Ruins. They flip the point, they're up to 80%, and it's on New York now to make some magic happen. Pine and Birdring both have Infrasight up and ready. This little battle, Hago should be looking for Jonak, knowing that Transcend hasn't been used in a while. If he can get back to Jonak before he's able to get anything done, to EMP and delete Jonak, that will completely swing it in favor of London. Interesting decision here. Janice way overextended. 
gets collapsed on, not able to get out, and now that sets it up here. Birdrake, he's oh. delayed it. What a shot on the Jonak! Delayed Infrasight, and he's taking full advantage. He knows exactly where Pine's playing from. The pressure is there, but he's gonna hook right into his healers, make sure that they can keep him alive. And there will be the sound barrier. The celebration as they pick up the first point here. London Spitfire now in the lead. Such a great kill on Jonak, though. No transcendence for him, only reincarnation. He needed that transcend to be able to hold the point. I thought maybe the Sombra was gonna be the one to go after him, as she's the natural predator of Zenyatta, but one headshot to the dome on Zen. You know, Zen's got very predictable movement, doesn't have a wobble because he floats, that he's pretty easy to headshot there. I also remember the bad old days where he had 150 health and he was very easy to body shot as well. Well, the thing, like, what you're talking about as well is just Widow on land so quick. There's a clean yeah. example, right? It's just instant with the flick. Yeah. That guys have this mechanical skill and they just make, they just make magic happen when they have Widow and a big target like that to work with. All right, so we are going to move over to Lighthouse here. We've got no Widows on the field, no Faras on the field either. Both teams running interesting, different variations of comps. We got Pine on the Genji now. Doing a good job of charging up his uh, Dragon Blade, or at least at the start here, he is connecting. Save Yobi as well. And Jonak will be the one to start things off strong here for New York Excel. They really need to hang in here because I think that all of us want to see McCree on the murder hole for New York Excel. Save Yobi gets to the back line, takes down Hago. That is huge. That's so much damage and healing now done. You see that London is on the retreat because of it. I was a little surprised that Bird Ring didn't take this angle earlier while the rest of his team pushed below, but he doesn't want to get dove on and put himself in a 1v2. So he was hoping his team could win that and then he would take the angle, but too late, the dive comes in, Bird Ring sent back to spawn in a beautiful stagger. Really delaying things, and now Sabi will be... He's the one who can kind of set things up here for his team. He's got that pulse. Decides to back off for now as they will regroup London Spitfire, moving back into it. Prophet's got the, uh, the pulse as well, and they're moving together as a unit here. Going to be the Wrecking Ball approach here from London Spitfire. Jester's all alone though, and they find him. I imagine that they're going to try to get this stick. No, actually just decides to let him go and live another day. Positional Sibyobi. here from Sibyobi. Yeah, he's biding his time to look for a bigger stick. I think he wants to save it for the supports. All right, now he's in the back line, and London know it. And there you go, dives right in. Sibyobi knows he can get out of here out of harm's way as well. Goes for the big stick, not going to find it. Instead, it's Prophet blowing Jonak up into spare parts. And now Sibyobi has to get back over here, out into the open to allow for his healers to perhaps keep him alive. Wasn't quite over, but that Pine did go down. Now it's a 6v4 on the point, and they should be just a matter of cleanup and delay for New York right now. Hano has gone so well on this Lucio. I'm so impressed by him. He will eventually fall 65% on the status ticker for New York. Just the deeps from Mano, but not quite. Closer is just a little bit ahead in terms of damage dealt, but in terms of healing, they're both on top of it. Well, Pine's got his blade ready. You can blade, barrier, or transcend. Transcend a little bit of a limiting factor with the blade. You have to keep up with your Genji. I think blade and barrier work so well together, we've yet to really see it utilized. Oh, yeah, the reflect right in. Open for the missiles, perhaps. Pine playing on the edge here. He will be able to get back over here with Jonak, but that is a juicy target. He's down to half HP. Eventually does get topped up, however. And now he's found his target. Hagopun out of the open. Trance has been forced. Pine, he gets exactly what he was hoping for. Now he knows that there's nothing to stop his blade from reaping complete and utter havoc. And here we go. Fury chopped. There's the follow-up. Looking for more, and Hagopun gets reflected. Pine only going to get the two, but still the damage is done. In New York XL, they will flip it. Beautiful force into the early transcend. It was just a countdown clock until that blade was coming out. He gets the nice kills and the deflect. Moreover, he forced Bird Ring to use his tactical visor, which is a decent answer to a blading Genji. That's not going to be in there. Bird Ring is going to switch to the McCree to try to deal with Pine. Yeah, kind of a roll reversal here. Oh, I love it. No, it doesn't go for the stick, but still. Right in there, still finds the kill on Agopin. Why not, Sibyobi? Why not? And he's still got his pulse as well. They can chase him further back. 90% now for New York XL. They're within striking distance of taking this to a third point. Yeah, this is almost impossible now for London. They just lost everybody. There's going to be no one here to really be able to contest in any meaningful way. Meaningful. Yeah. There's always profit. Yes, but you can contest, but he's going to be one before. <laughs> Actually, Team Max Mecco. All right, that profit. Prove me wrong. I'll take it. Wait, he's still alive. Yeah, they're able to get back in here, and both tanks are now out of this mix. Profit saving the day. A beautiful stick on the closer, though, as CBOB equalizes. That could make the difference. Profit still dancing. It's going to be the dual oh, mono on oh, oh. mono. And already, Profit finding the one on mono. 
This is big. St. Yobi's got unbelievable. All right. I've learned my lesson. I think I've called two fights short this entire set. These two teams I cannot do it with because both these teams will contest every bit of the way and then they've just got miracles in their pockets for days. I don't know what wishing well they frequent, but I want to go there. I do too, and I want them to buy lottery tickets for me. <laughs> I want them to make my investments. I mean, this is unbelievable. Prophet just bringing his team back into the fight. Both of these tracers really putting on a world-class performance here. And there we go, Mono gets pounded into the wall. Some modern art for you there, care of gesture. And now things are gonna get a bit dicey here for New York Excel. They're the ones who are under the gun. 10% left here for London Spitfire to close it out. Keep in mind, London Spitfire, they're already up 1-0 in the points. London with a huge alt advantage. Jonak should be able to get to his transcend and then the Dragon Blade should also be available for Pine. Janus will be able to Primal Rage onto the point and stall it out as long as he doesn't go down before that. We'll get the Primal Rage off. We'll get the Primal Rage off. We have Mecco going for the self-destruct as well. No kill and Mecco gets caught. Jonak is gone. Pine doing the best that he can. He has got a Dragon Blade, but he's so low on HP. If he dies now, it is over. Goes leaping into the fray. Jan is desperate to keep it alive here, but this is pretty much it. Save Yobi trying for the heroics and that is going to be it. London Spitfire will win yet again. Three to two over the New York Excel. These matches could not be closer. It all comes down to single clips, single pulse bombs. Jonak killed again with Transcend on the last two stages of Ilios. That's rough. He's going to be rethinking that. I just want to watch London and New York play every day, all day, forever. That's all I want. <laughs> that is all I want in the world. Is that too much to ask? Yes, please. Unbelievable. Profit, man.